doing? It's good to have you today again in my class. And I want to say a beautiful welcome to you. Last class, we had a wonderful time, but I know that today is going to be very, very perfect with you sitting still and making sure we watch together. Today, we're going to be looking at a fantastic topic, and that is African music. We are trying to circulate around us here because we've grown with so many Western music in our heads. You see children, everything that they sing, Western, Western, playing Western, very good, but we just want to know our heritage a bit in terms of what music. So when you look at Africa, you talk about Nigeria is one of the African countries. We have Kenyan, we have um, South Africa and all of that. All are all what African countries. But we are looking at Nigeria specifically. We're going to look at our instruments that gives us this rich taste or what you call the richness, the quality that makes us have a unique specification. So we're going to be looking at all of these in this class today and it's going to be a wonderful class. Welcome again. African music is a tradition many played at gatherings at special occasions. It's in special, at special occasions that we play, most of these are African what, music. The traditional music of Africa, eh, given the vastness of the continent, is historically ancient. Yes, historically it is what? Ancient. When you say ancient, something that is old, it is rich. And it's what diverse. When you say diverse, is different types. It's spread around. We are so many. We talk about our culture with different regions and nations of Africa having many distinct musical traditions. Our traditions are so distinct. That's how we see our hair. You see language. You see our food. You also have what our music, which is our great heritage. Okay, music in Africa is very important. When it comes to religion, it's very important when it comes to religion. We value it so much. Songs and music are used in rituals and religion, religious ceremonies. What do we use them for? To pass down stories from generation to generation. Not only that, as well as to sing. Not only that, and also to dance too. All right, so we can dance to it, we can sing to it, and we can tell stories. Passing it from generation to generation. Beyond the rhythmic nature of the music, African music differs from Western music in that the various parts of the music do not necessarily combine in a harmonious fashion. That's not the main aim. It's not just because it's rhythmic. The, the parts, they don't necessarily combine in a harmonious fashion. All we do is that African musicians aim to express life in all its aspects through the medium of sound. So anyhow they take it to, they have that focus. They aim at it. They give music meaning. They give it life. You give it purpose. And when people hear it, hmm, when I see older people singing to our songs, they are doing marriages, um, burial, and all of that. When they sing some kind of songs, even in a religious sector, hmm, you get through it. Even for the rituals, when you hear some of these songs, you'll be wondering. That's how you hear the spirit flows. So Africa has what? A very unique taste in terms of that. African music... Is a vital part of everyday life in Africa. When you say vice, is very important. It's a very important part of everyday life in Africa. It is a part of religious ceremonies, a part of festivals, and also a part of social rituals. Songs are used for the important events in a person's life. When you talk about a person's life, a person's life involves a lot. And that talks about the birth, um, coming of age when somebody is growing up. It gets to marriage and then to death, all right? Songs are also used for curing the sick. Yes, it brings healing. Also, it is used for bringing down rain as well as holding rain. That's the rituals that they say they believe in. I, I don't really believe in that, but it's one of our African culture, all right? And also for religious word dances. So these are more that we make use of when we talk about African songs. Now, coming to Nigeria, we have diverse of our words, cultures, and languages. You talk of the Niger Delta, you talk of the Yorubas, the Edo's. When you go to the north, the houses, even in the house culture, they have different songs and they have different instruments. If you still come to Edo, Edo also have different songs, but they have different instruments. Go to Niger Delta, the same thing. But you see the similarities in their musical instruments, but when you talk about their songs, their language makes it become what different. 
but you try to relate them together because they are related. So we are going to be looking at these songs, uh, musical instruments per se. And we said that they are classified into five categories. The classification of instruments that are into how many categories? Five categories. We have one, the aerophones, two, chordophones, three, idiophones, four, membranophones, and five, electrophones. We are going to say them together. One to go, aerophones, two, chordophones, three, idiophones, four, membranophones, and five, electrophones. We've been able to see that we could select some of these instruments, even if it is one for us to hear as we give the sound to us. But I will also need you to look around you because I know if you look at these five classifications, you can't really tell which is which. So we are going to be looking at them. The first we have on our list today is the idiophone instrument. Idiophones produce a sound by the vibration of the actual instrument itself. These instruments can be struck, so listen, they can be rubbed, they can be shaken or plucked. So these are the way, and these all fall under the category of the percussion. Knowing that we have the percussion instrument, which we call the family, we have the wind, which is divided into brass and woodwind, and we have the word per, uh, percussion. Okay, I've mentioned percussion before. Percussion, wind, and string. These are the three. But now, looking at the African nature, idiophones fall under word percussion because they are instruments that can be shaken. How many can you name? Can you name anyone as I'm talking now? Is there anyone that comes to your mind, an instrument that is shaking? All right, let's look at this diagram. The idiophone musical instrument. Yeah, now you can find them. Um, Clapper bell, we have the bell, the triangle, we have the simba, we have the xylophone, we have the uh, rattles, okay? There are some instruments here that I don't even know. That's why I told you that our culture, they are different. We have similarities of instruments and we have the ones that are not really so common, okay? Now, I want to check for you the one i have here or play your role i have the one we call rattles but we call them marakas in a traditional language now i have them in two types the other rattle you know all right so that's the shaking one we have for our idiophone we also have the tambourine Okay, here I also have the gong. Yeah, I have the gong. Let's hear it. It's a twin gong. You can hear the different sounds. One is cooler than the other. All right, so I just picked these instruments from um our storehouse here to be able to make you hear and listen to them all right the next instrument that we have is the aerophone an aerophone produces its sound by the vibration of words air it is the app of air that we can produce what such sounds the two main families that are aerophones are woodwind and brass instrument like i told you earlier on most woodwinds use the air and reeds to vibrate while brass use air and the player's lips to vibrate. Some keyboard instruments are used, also use air as the source of vibration and can be considered as what aerophones because we have the harmonica. All right, harmonica is like a keyboard, it's small. You see it, you put it in your mouth and you play it. Okay, now if you talk about aerophones, can you also name them? All right, I have one instrument here with me that we call the Venova. It's an airy instrument, so we want to hear the sound. It's just the sound we want you to listen to. So listen. Right? I also have it. That's the Venova. I have the recorder. Okay, I have. I also have the thin whistle, so let's just try to also listen to this sound. Mm -hmm. 
Good. I hope you enjoy the sounds. Okay, let's look at the instruments. Um, we have these instruments under aerophone. We have the saxophone. We have the trombone. We have the harmonica. We also have the float. I can also see the trombone and the trumpet. I also have here on this list the clarinet. Okay, let's move to the third one. We have the chordophone. See it? Chordophone instrument. Chordophones are part of the string instrument family. They produce sound by the vibrating of strings. To make these sounds, pluck, bow, or strike the strings. So that's what you need to do to make the sound. This is done by a pick, a bow, or the musician's hand. We have the guitar. I'm sure we are so common with the guitar. Now I have a violin here. When we pluck, you hear? But when we want to bow it, to play it, I have my bow and I'm placing it on my chin, so play. some of the musical instruments you have the violin we have the cello the harp we have um, um it's like an harmonica drum but you have to pair that all right then this is almost like a form of the ukulele the one that has a round um, bubble or bottom but it's not a ukulele all right let's move to the next instrument which is the membrano phones Membranophones produce sound when a stretched skin vibrates. When a what stretched skin? When you talk about stretched skin, we're talking about animal skin. That's what we use to make the top. Once it is stretched and they use the string to hold it to the wood, it starts vibrating when you play it. Different materials can be used to make membranophones, including wood, metal, or ceramic. So I have what we call the pot drum here. Let's see if we have pot drum in this one. Okay, there's no pod drum here, but in the next picture, we are going to have that. But I'm going to play the pod drum. You see, it's just at one strike. You play that. Then we also have the one that is made of wood and animal skin. Let's see it. We are going to be taking them little by little. Then we have the bass drum. We have which? The bass drum. I need us to hear the bass drum. It's rolling out, so we go. Correct. <laughs> okay. All right. We can see so many of the drums here. The timpani the snare drum the wooden drum and all of that the next we're going to be looking at now is the electrophone instrument and this happens to be the last this is the newest category of instrument they have only been around since the 20th century okay electrophones produce an electronic sound the two main families of electro Electrophones are electronic instruments and amplified acoustical what instruments. What are some electron electrophones that you have heard of? We have the piano. I have one here. So let's see. We have the piano. We have the organ. We have the keyboard. <laughs> they are all keys. All right. So we go. So 
so these are more let's quickly just look at some other instruments now you can see the electric drum pad we have the organ electric guitar we have the keyboard so all of these are electro phones that we have as the instrument now you can see this also comprising of most of the instruments but this can be airy you have to use your mouth to blow in air then we also have the percussion which we call the idiophones rattles metagons clappers drum xylophones slits wooden drums tom piano and pod drum at least you heard some of these ones so these are more that we have when we talk about what musical instruments attached to african music which is our song without these instruments our songs are not rich enough you cannot sing without this instrument but i'll tell you that you can play even without singing <laughs> yes so that's just it i hope you had a nice time in our class today as we always know the next thing that you have to do is to take what's your quiz you have to take your quiz make sure you answer the questions appropriately and we'll be good to go i want to wish you a very good luck all right thank you for joining me in this class today i appreciate it all all the best you can do is